Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to part 2 of this video. This is a highly requested video. Everybody kept asking me to do a part 2 to answering your flame slash college related questions and I got an overwhelming amount of responses that I need to go through right now. So let's get this video started. Going right in, question 1. Which type of room allocation would you suggest us take? Um, I think that's a really personal preference sort of thing. Uh, there are three types of housing available at flame type a housing type b housing type c housing type c is the one that i personally prefer it has the attached bathroom and the ac and i sort of need the ac because i kind of feel faint and dizzy during the hotter months because i struggle with my anemia uh, but yeah if you have issues like that health issues that require you to have uh, an ac in your room then please go for the ac rooms because it does get uh, really hot during certain months but Throughout the year, I would say it's really cold in the later half of the year up until January end. Like the temperature can go as low as, I would say the lowest I've seen it go is 8 degrees. And February through May is insanely hot. So February through May can be as high as 35 to 40 degrees in the day. And yeah, for those months, you will feel like you need an AC. So if you're a person who is used to the AC and needs it, I would say go for the AC room. Uh, but I know people who are very comfortable in type A and B housing without the AC uh, and I mean you do have to pay extra for the AC so take those factors into account and I think again it's like a very preference based thing so make your decision accordingly. Education level um, I think by this you mean maybe how difficult flame is or stuff like that uh, to which I would say personally I think flame is kind of challenging and I've I, I was told this by my seniors before I even applied and I think I can attest to the fact that it is quite challenging and difficult at times but it also depends on what courses you take and what stream you choose to pursue some are more challenging than others and personally I feel like the best way to tackle difficulty and an overwhelming amount of coursework is to balance your courses and take a mixture of easier courses with denser courses so that you do not have uh, too much on your plate and that's personally helped me manage the difficulty level at flame but yeah overall i would say every course is pretty challenging in its own way but for the most part it you can ha handle it really well it depends on again what you choose to study how you choose to study it what uh, your academic orientation is and those criteria. Can you explain the universes of knowledge thing you have to do in the first year? Okay, so from what I remember, you have five universes of knowledge, which are U of K's, uh, different categories like humanities, there's physical and natural sciences, there are languages and two more that I can't remember, but essentially there are a bunch, like easy 20 to 30 uh, courses under each universe and you are required to study at least two from each universe, two are compulsory. And basically the idea is to get you to explore every type of course at Flame before you make a set decision on what you want to pursue as your major and minor in your second year. Do they do internships in all courses? Um, internships aren't actually uh, in the courses. Internships are mandated by Flame to be completed after you finish the academic year. So at the end of your first year, you will have an internship requirement to fulfill called DAP, which is a one month summer internship that you need to start, I think, a week into your summer vacation. And then you finish that and then there are certain things that you have to do to complete it. It, com it has a credit requirement and stuff like that. So it is mandatory. And in your second year, uh, which I'm doing right now, I have something called SIP, which is a two month summer internship that I'm required to do in May and June. So yeah, those are mandatory from flame side but there are no internships within the courses. Uh, you can look for internship opportunities within that course from your professor, your professor can recommend a bunch of internship opportunities based on that course to you, which you can pursue outside of flame requirements, but those, again, you take on of your own accord. What's the orientation process like at the first week of flame? 
So orientation week essentially consists of uh, a few ceremonies like you have um, the opening ceremony and stuff like that but basically welcome you to flame there's oat taking ceremony and stuff like that now keep in mind I joined flame when lockdown was still a thing so uh, we had our orientation week online so there were essentially a bunch of webinars and seminars that we had to attend for orientation week I don't really know how the physical orientation takes place but I do know that you have these ceremonies uh, along with meetings with your peer mentors to discuss uh, processes like your course registration to help with uh, learning how to write citations and there's these little, little workshops uh, but essentially it's to catch you up on academic procedures to kind of give you a guide to campus and stuff like that so yeah basically it's to give you a better idea of flame and help you get settled in what do you suggest we bring for our doms in flame I had a few questions uh, from people asking me what I think uh, people should bring to flame and I'm gonna make a whole separate video on that in about I think two weeks from now uh, which will basically give you a whole packing list for flame and stuff that I recommend you should get so look out for that in two weeks. What courses universes of knowledge you suggest we take in the first year? Again. First year is meant for solely explorative purposes. They want you to explore as many courses as possible to get that exposure from different universes of knowledge. So I would say try and experiment. Don't just have a set um, mind as to, oh, I want to pursue journalism when I come to flame or I want to do computer science because I did that, but I ended up switching from wanting to study journalism at flame to digital marketing because I explored digital marketing in my universes of knowledge. And my first year really helped me get a better understanding of what I would like to pursue than what I thought I would like to pursue. So really try to keep an open mind as you explore those courses in your first year. It's the only time that you're going to really get maximum exposure to everything that flame has to offer there is no particular course then that i can say you must absolutely take or you have to do it you need to do it it depends on your personal preferences and what you want to choose to study so yeah keep an open mind and try and explore as much as you can how is economics as a major at flame uh, economics is actually quite a popular major at Flame. Econ and finance are a very um, well-known combination at Flame and I have a few friends who've taken it and they seem to be re really liking it. It is of course a more challenging combination and economics is a challenging major. Um, so yeah, I mean if that's something you're really interested in, Flame has a really well-structured uh, department for economics and the coursework is really well planned out so i would say go for it if that's what you want to pursue okay i had a few questions about summer break especially wanting to know how long they are and just talking about um the semester breaks as well and holiday schedule okay so um throughout the year for all like major holidays and well-known holidays like ganesh chaturthi or diwali and christmas and stuff we get a shorter break like i think for ganesh chaturthi we just got a day last year uh for diwali you get again like i think three to five days and again christmas is um i think a week from christmas to new year you can always extend your dates depending on your attendance and stuff like that but um yeah we get a shorter break throughout the year because we get an extended summer break summer break is three months three three and a half months it starts in may it goes on till mid-august obviously you're required to do an internship a one month internship or a two month internship depending on what year you're in but uh yeah we get a three three and a half month summer break which is pretty long which accounts for all the shorter breaks throughout the year yeah and semester break isn't that long it's I think it's like just the Saturday or Sunday after you finish the semester. Sometimes you end the semester on Friday and then by Monday you're back in class for the next semester. So it's not really that long, but hey, take what you can get. What's the attendance percentage? Flame has a very strict 75% attendance for all your courses, uh, irrespective of what they are. And you can be asked to repeat a course or you will fail a course if your attendance is extremely low for a particular course. 
and yeah so i would say please 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 pay attention to your attendance you can keep track of it on moodle they calculate it for you so that's really convenient you need to have 75 percent attendance claim is very well recognized as a university but how is the bba course there uh okay i think i need to explain this a little more in depth because people don't actually know a lot about this essentially in your first year you are studying liberal arts you are not pursuing a particular degree like you can't in your first year say like oh i'm gonna do ba or bba or this or that it's you're studying liberal arts essentially that's what they will tell you uh, so you get to explore all the courses under the U of K as like I mentioned and then in your second year you are required to declare a major and a minor. That determines what degree you will be getting at the end of your time at Flame. So essentially when I joined Flame I thought I was going to do a BA in um, so and so like a BA in journalism or a BA in marketing but then I realized that digital marketing at Flame earns you a BBA degree. So at the end of my three years, because I declared digital marketing as my major during my sec during the start of my second year. So at the end of my three years, which is May of 2024, I will be getting a BBA in communications. So yeah, it depends on what you declare as your major and minor that determines the degree that you're going to get. Then there are some questions asking me if it's easy to socialize and make friends or how good is Flame in terms of networking and stuff like that. I would say in terms of making friends, it, it's pretty easy. You actually end up having multiple friend groups, if that makes sense. You end up going through a lot of friend groups before you actually find your click and stuff like that. And I've seen that happen with almost everyone at Flame. It's easy to socialize, I would say, especially if you take part in the forming groups before you come to campus. I feel like that's very helpful, having batch groups and groups based on your city, like we have a different group for people who come from Bombay, from Delhi, from Hyderabad, stuff like that. So those are incredibly helpful in terms of socializing. That's how we did it. And then on campus also, I would say it's fairly easy, especially you find if you find people who you have a lot of classes in common with and stuff like that. In terms of networking, I would say Flame does a very good job in uh, getting you connected with a lot of different people so you develop a lot of contacts and it really depends on the crowd you choose to hang out with um, and associate yourself with that determines the kind of people that you get connected to and flame again gives you a lot of opportunity to get connected with um, different internship opportunities or placements and stuff like that so i would say that way it's a very good experience okay how's the housing situation like number of roommates cleaning laundry etc so you have four different housings at Flame, North, South, East and West. Uh, in terms of number of roommates, um, you in I think East and West, you have, um, how do I explain it? An apartment type rooming situation where you have a common room and then four rooms within that common room and then there are two people in each room. But essentially there are eight flatmates in that type of housing, but housing like mine, which is I prefer to live in South housing and North housing too, that has rooms uh, with two people staying in it. So essentially you're always going to be just two roommates in a room and um, in terms of laundry and cleaning and all, you have housekeeping that comes to clean, clean your room every single day. You can call them whenever you're in your room and you have free time to get your room cleaned. And laundry, there is a paid laundromat service in your housing's reception in every housing block. Or you can get your laundry done at the laundry place, the main flame laundry, which is the free laundry. Well, essentially it's not free, you pay for it in your fees. It's the one the way you give 40 clothes a month. So yeah, that's the housing situation. Okay, again, more questions about party scenes and making friends and stuff like that. Again, I cannot say this enough. It depends on the people you kind of fall in with, the type of clicks you have around you and the type of people you choose to associate with. That depends on how much you're going to party or socialize and stuff like that so it really just depends on all of those things what does your typical day in flame look like i have a vlog for that a whole week in my life actually so watch that it's gonna be here or here do flame students need to attend a sports class every day uh, no you don't uh sports is a requirement uh but it's um for i think 
two terms out of four in your first year and one semester out of the two semesters that you have in your second year so essentially you have to do it for two months in the year yeah two months so you can pick a different sport or uh, like you can pick i like i've done uh in my first year i'd had physical exercise physical fitness and i did badminton in my second year no or oh, i did um table tennis table tennis and physical fitness in my first year uh one month each and then in my second year i did one month badminton one month basketball so that's a compulsion you do have to do it for two months in your academic year but uh, besides that obviously if you do want to play sports you can obviously sign up for clubs you can be a part of sports teams or you can just go randomly play at arjuna okay now i'm gonna do a lightning round and answer those questions that have a shorter response to them firstly can you please say which course you are studying i have a digital marketing major and an open minor i have heard the food is bad is the catering changing anytime soon yes actually perfect question because our catering was literally replaced at the last week uh, of our academic year uh, and we were told that it's the implementation of the new catering will start at the start of our second year so high expectations for that for the universe of knowledge is it compulsory to take two courses from each yes two is a minimum requirement uh, i think you can take additional courses that's up to you are you planning to do a three or four year course at flame i'm doing a three year course i will be graduating by may of next year do people get cars and vehicles at flame is it allowed uh in your first year you aren't allowed to get your personal vehicles to flame but second year onwards you are allowed to bring your cars or your scooters or whatever it is that you want to get to flame you just need to get it registered and need to get the sticker for flame placed on your vehicle and then yeah you can keep them are the male and female hostels different at flame uh yeah uh boys housing and girls housing it's different at flame it isn't covered housing boys have their own block girls have their own block are there parties inside the hostels or campus and can we stay out for the night if we're not so sober i would definitely tell you to stay out for the night if you're not sober guys please do not come back to campus if you're drunk they have breath analyzers at the gate and they detect the faintest bit of alcohol on your breath so please do not try that it will land you discom which you do not want to deal with trust me and it goes on your record so do not try that you can come back to campus after 6 a.m if you're drunk you can stay out the night you can take night out requests and uh, stay out the night please be sure to put in your night out request before uh hand if you know you're going to be drinking uh so that you don't get into a whole thing with your wardens not approving your request to stay out of campus otherwise you will be called back and then you will be dealt with uh in terms of parties on campus yeah there are a lot of parties throughout the year and um there are events by clubs and all but those are non alcoholic uh so yeah please do not try to do anything illegal and get boost to those parties or whatever else cuz again you can get yourself discount so enjoy the parties that are on campus trust me you can have fun without alcohol people seem to be so concerned about that but it's really not an issue so that's about it for answering all your flame questions i hope this was really helpful on a closing note there are a few things that i would like you to keep in mind firstly explore as much as you can flame has a wide variety of options in terms of not just um coursework and academics but also extracurriculars events clubs like and stuff like that please explore as much as you can and keep an open mind more importantly um secondly please be wary of discom it's a very serious uh matter at flame please don't try to do something that will get you landed in discom discom is the disciplinary committee of flame um so basically all your uh stuff that isn't allowed on campus like non veg or alcohol or drugs or whatever please don't get into all that stuff it will land you suspension or expulsion or whatever uh in terms of socializing because a lot of you are worried about that i cannot stress this enough it depends on the people you hang out with or choose to associate yourself with your groups determine the socializing that you will do the networking that you will do in terms of traveling uh from flame i would suggest uh you use the shuttle service it's very convenient it connects you from campus to the main city quite easily uh, and shuttles are available throughout the day at different times as, and there are a 
higher number of shuttles available during the weekends for those of you who want to go out you do have a midnight curfew be back on campus by midnight um don't come back drunk uh within campus curfew is 2 a.m by 2 a.m you need to be within your dorm rooms and then again you can leave campus starting 6 a.m or earlier uh, if you need to leave campus earlier in the morning with permission from your wardens okay i would also say networking is very important at flames it's a great place to make contacts and network yourself uh, effectively and efficiently so try to get an in with as many people as you can not just peers but also professors and alumni and stuff like that they will really help you get opportunities in the future i've already seen it open so many doors for me i think those are a few things that i would uh, like you to keep in mind especially with flame so i'm gonna go ahead and make a playlist on my channel i have a few playlists already i'm gonna make a separate one for college related stuff maybe one for flame related stuff and one for more general college related stuff uh things that i would say you should pack and carry to college and content along those lines and just videos that could probably help you out in terms of university so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that to make it easier for you guys to find content and like i said my dms are always open please feel free to reach out if you have any further questions and that's gonna be the end of this video like share comment subscribe you know the drill and i'll see you next week